What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. On today's video, we're gonna continue the in production series where I share with you all the pairings I got going on for this 2023 season. On this one, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you my most anticipated pairing. So I hope you can kick back and listen in and enjoy this week's video. So this right here is Jules. Jules is a pastel double hat VPI Xanthic puzzle that I got from Regius Creations. Now I did the same pairing last year, but I didn't get the expected result that I wanted. I still got a wonderful clutch from her, which I'll share with you after I show you her. She's going a little bit wild. So I don't know how long we could share her. Let's see if she'll stay in the box here. So she was paired with a Leopard Double Hat VPI Xanthic Puzzle, but he ran out of steam and I'll share with you more the story of that when I share with you the mail. And so I decided to put in another mail with her, a Fire VPI Xanthic, and I got a pretty awesome clutch from them, which I'll share with you right now. We'll go ahead and put her away, not stress her out too much. So once again, we have Jules, Pastel, Double Hat, VPI Xanthic Puzzle from Regis Creations. So here we have one of Jewel's daughters from last year. Now when this snake popped its head out and I saw that it was fire, I knew that I had missed out entirely on the VPI Xanthic Puzzle because there was no fire in my leopard double head male but there was fire in the second mail I threw in at the last second. So I was a little bit disappointed, but after seeing the rest of the clutch, I'm actually pretty happy with it. And I've got some great holdbacks. This girl initially I had on Morph Market. I'm glad no one picked her up. I decided to hold her back. I believe she's gonna be head puzzle. Let me look at the pattern on her. So fire, head VPI Xanthic. 50% possible head puzzle. Now we talked about the puzzle traits on Phenotypical Tuesday. And this girl is showing a lot of the stuff that I talked about with those patterns that have a tendency to trail over the top and connect on the other side. Tracks on the tail. Some neck pattern. Let's see if she could show her neck. So yeah, I decided to keep her, even though I've got three other Ember or Vanillas, because you can never have enough of these possible head girls. So let me show you her siblings real quick. I've shared with you them a lot, so no need to dwell on them. And then we'll check out the sire of hopefully this year's clutch. Here goes another one produced from Jules. Now this is the last snake available on my Morph Market. I just sold another one this past week, and this is the last one. He's a Firefly Het VPI, 50% possible Het Puzzle. It's a boy. It's a beautiful Firefly. The blushing on him is crazy. And he does have some really unique patterning going on, which may indicate Het Puzzle. You know, I'm not gonna guarantee that, but possibly Het Puzzle 50%, so. Still available, I'm having a spring bake sale, $200 shipped to your door. So hit me up on Morph Market if you want this boy. Here goes a Fire VPI Xanthic. My very first recessive produced here at 403 Fauna. She's like a carbon copy of her dad. This reduced pattern, Fire VPI of course, and 50% possible hit puzzle. Can you imagine if this girl proves out Het Puzzle? She'll just be a super valuable part of 403 Fauna. So once again, Fire, BPI Xanthic, 50% possible Het Puzzle. And here goes a Firefly BPI Xanthic, 50% possible Het Puzzle male that was produced by Jules. This guy is a stunner. And with how crazy his pattern is, you know, it's just gotta be Het Puzzle. 
So these were all the babies that I held back produced by Jules. And again, the father was a fire VPI Xanthic. Let's take a look at the father of hopefully this year's clutch next. But yeah, this guy's a stunner. So, you know, I can't complain that Tony didn't get the clutch because he did produce, or the other male did produce some really high quality VPI Xanthics. So here goes the sire, hopefully, of this year's clutch. His name is Tony. He is a leopard, double head, VPI Xanthic puzzle that I got from JNK's VPI Xanthics. Now his story was last year. I paired him all summer along with the Ember Cream double head, or the Ember Cream head hypo. And I shared with you that clutch this past Phenotypical Tuesday. And by the time winter rolled around, he tapped out. I mean, he locked with Jules three times, but he was so skinny and I decided to take him off the, the breeding and I threw in the fire VPI Xanthic late and he stole the clutch. But this guy I saved specifically for Jules this year. So he's only had one pairing with her and they've locked a couple of times already. So I'm hopeful that he gets the clutch this year and he should unless she retains the sperm from last year so this is Tony the leopard double head VPI Xanthic puzzle I have a 1 in 16 chance of producing that VPI Xanthic puzzle but honestly I really want a puzzle I don't care if it's a boy or a girl either way I'm gonna get a puzzle this year whether he produces one or I'm gonna buy one because, you know, with all the possible heads I have, I do need a male puzzle that will prove it out. And I'm hoping I get it from this clutch here. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Tune in on Tuesday for another Phenotypical Tuesday. Have a great week, everybody. Take care and be safe.